Hello, we're going to look at a few different characteristics of information that can allow us to make an assessment on the quality of the information. So we're going to go through, I think, five, I want to say, characteristics. And there are more, but these are the five I think are most important and most relevant to know about. Starting with validity. Now, validity is about whether data is valid. So this refers to how appropriate the information is. So does it fit with what you previously understand? Does it fit with what other people are saying? And how does it connect to your understanding? So, you know, for example, a conspiracy theory on a personal blog you just randomly find would probably not be considered very valid information because it's not very believable, it's not really appropriate, and it maybe goes against what most people are saying and more maybe trustworthy people are saying. Now, reliability is connected. Reliability is about whether the information is able to be verified. Now, verification is about checking. Are you able to check and find another source for this information? But potentially, also, it's about whether the source you're getting it from has a reputation for having accurate information. For example, a newspaper breaking a brand new story might not be easily verified but if a newspaper has got a history of being really accurate, you might tend to believe it because they might be described as reliable. So accuracy is all about how correct information is. Reliability is about trusting that accuracy over a period of time. Now, bias can damage your trust in the accuracy. So bias is where the source is only giving one perspective or are letting their agenda influence the information. So really what this means is the person is letting their opinion take over from the truth. So if I was making a review of smartphones and I was really, really hammering Android and was really positive about Apple, but actually I worked for Apple, I would be biased and maybe would be untruthful because if you don't disclose your biases, people might feel let down if they find out why you've given certain opinions you have. So biased articles and things like this are not necessarily bad straight away as long as you are aware of what the biases are and you're able to filter these. But if people are not honest about what biases they have, that's when it can be a little bit poor quality information. A few more relevant characteristics are whether the information is comparable. If information is comparable, it means it's in the same format as other information that you have already. And so the benefit of this is you're able to look at it side by side, make direct comparisons. If you've got a big database already and the new information is in a completely different structure and a completely different format, you might have to spend a long time converting it to your current format so that you can compare it. So if you're looking for high quality information, ideally it will be comparable to what you have already. And the relevance is clearly important. This is whether it can be used for your current problem. Information has no quality to you if it is completely irrelevant to what you are doing. So relevant information is really useful, it's high quality to you. And another slightly more simple, slightly more obvious one is completeness. If information is complete, it means whether all the required information you need is present. If you've got gaps in a database table or an application form or somebody's A-level results certificate, that causes problems, you've got to try and fill in the gaps, you may not have a full understanding, it may not be particularly relevant to you. So completeness is obviously important as well. Now all of these, actually there are six, I think I said there are five, there are six I've covered. All of these are important in determining whether information is high quality or not. Now quality is subjective, but you might decide that based on characteristics like these ones. Let's end then by looking at the effect good and bad quality information can have on stakeholders. Now really, this will present itself in an exam based on a scenario, maybe a pre-release, maybe a not pre-release. You know, you'd have to think about what would be the consequence of the information being biased or being unreliable or invalid or complete. You've got to think about what's going to happen based on these. Now stakeholders are anyone really with an interest in something. So an interest in an individual or an interest in an organization. So these might be staff, customers, neighbors, governments, anyone really with either a positive or negative interest in what you are doing. So 
you know, exam question could ask about a particular stakeholder and how they might feel about information being high or low quality. Well, you know, just speaking more generally, it's hard to get specific without a particular scenario, but generally speaking, high quality information is going to lead to your stakeholders being informed. So being informed is where you know what's going on and you have a good understanding of what is happening. And if you are informed, usually that will make it easier to make decisions. If you've got lots of high quality information, you're able to make an informed decision. If you've got loads of low quality information, you might have to make a guess. And that might be a poor decision in the end, thinking from say a business perspective. So poor quality information, like I say, could lead to bad decisions, but also just general misinformation. Misinformation is where you are getting told things which are not quite correct. And if you are making bad decisions based on this, this might lead to reputational damage. That is when other people, other stakeholders start to think less of you, start to think less of your organization. So if you are not filtering your biases, if you are not trying to make the information reliable and complete and comparable, that might lead to other people questioning what you are doing. And there's a common phrase, it's quite an American phrase, but a common phrase in information management, which is garbage in, garbage out. The idea being that if you have poor quality information coming into your business or coming into your office, it will lead to there being bad outcomes, garbage outcomes. Because if you're making decisions based on bad data, that's not good. It's going to lead to there being bad decisions. And so getting that quality right in the first place is an important part of collecting information.